Hello, hello, and welcome to Love Weekly. I'm your host, Joy Beater8755, and here at thepsychictruth.com, we absolutely love you absolutely unconditionally. Love is the highest vibe. So what we're going to do is we're going to consult the tarot, and we're going to ask for a general read. I'm going to ask for a general love week, a love read for the week. For this week, what is going on? With love, love is in the air. There's a lot of new relationships going on, a lot of new connections I'm feeling. Newness and also a lot of shyness, a lot of inability to be our true authentic selves, to open up, to express, and fear of being judged. Whoa, what is that? I get it. I get it. I'm just joking. I don't really mean what is that. That is what we are and who we are. We want to be validated from the outside world. We want people to love, accept, and embrace us. And a lot of times we find ourselves, we as me, we find ourselves behaving a certain way or presenting a certain way that's not who we are. We want to please others. So we try to be who we think they want us to be or what they want us to be. Okay. Oh, yeah. New love coming in, coming in quickly. So let's just start with the Ace of Swords. How about with these new relationships and these new connections that we feel? See how the cl cloud is holding the hand? The sword represents our word and our thoughts within the tarot. And this cloud right here, the and camera's opposite, guys. So excuse me pointing to the wrong side, but the cloud represents these thoughts that we're having because the word, the, you know, the swords represent our words and thoughts. So with the cloud, it's thoughts that we're carrying. It's things that we're thinking and we're not expressing. The aces represent newness. So with this ace of swords, it's saying, hey, speak your true authentic, speak your truth. Say how you feel. Express yourself. Be you. True and authentic and unique we all have our own unique sprinkles. And the truth of the matter is when we are ourselves and we expose ourselves, when we allow for that vulnerability, when we lift the filter off, when we allow people to see us for our beautiful, divine goodness that we are, people are going to be more likely to be drawn to you as your true authentic self. It's too hard to keep up a facade. It's too hard to uh, pretend to be someone that you're not. It gets boring. It gets tiring. And I always say, if we had a world of everyone being cookie cutter sane, how boring would that be? It's just a little sprite. <laughs> because especially when I'm talking about love, I get really excited. I ramble on and my mouth gets really dry. <laughs> I never shut up. Especially about love, guys. We love love. When we step into these new relationships and we open up and we allow our own true authentic selves to be seen, not only do we draw in the right, the right people because like attracts like. You're vibing on a certain frequency. It allows love allows us to prosper. It allows us to to all the good things, all the sprinkles, all the natural talent, skills, abilities, our beautiful characteristics and traits to flourish, to come out. With the magician here, which is a major arcana tarot card, it shows that you have every element of the tarot. There's four suits of the tarot, so all four the the, the magician has. So this card is to tell you that you're amazing. You actually manifest. You create. Whatever energy or vibes you put off, you draw in the same. You you create your whole uh, reality. So when you're stepping into these new relationships, be sure to be yourself. Be sure to create the proper reality, the reality that you desire. You don't want to be in something fake. You don't want to pretend. So you always have to remember to put your mask on. You want to allow your inner beauty, your divine God or divine goddess energy to flourish, to beam out on those around you. Because a lot of these new relationships, I'm feeling that energy is your light is what's drawn in your partner. Your light is what is attracting in your partner. So don't be afraid to let it shine. Look at how connected you are. Look at so much purple in that card. Every suit of the tarot is there. I see the, the, the pentacles. I see the sword. I see the wand. And I see the cups. She's absolutely beautiful. She's so aware. She's so aware. Like she has had experiences within love. She knows what she wants. She knows what she doesn't. She understands herself better because of the relationship she's had in the past. So don't look at those happenings and say, oh, you know what? I'm going to cover up. I'm going to guard. I'm going to put up a brick wall and I'm going to present as a different person. Don't do that because then you miss out on all that the universe has for you. Also, a lot of these new unions that I'm feeling, a big energy is this there's a lot of entrepreneurial energy going on right now. So everybody is doing what they should, finding what they're naturally adept at and finding a way to create a living or, or to up level your standards of living by doing what you're naturally great at, what sprinkles you came out the womb with. 
because it's like a feeling of building together. A lot of couples are coming together and they are business minded and they are looking for their, you know, these pages, they are, they aspire. He's looking at that coin. He's like, Ooh, it's so shiny. I like it. I'm going to make more. This is what I'm going to do. So you're manifesting together, but you got to be your true authentic self. You can't stay stuck in what happened in the past. You can't turn your back on those filled up cups and not deal with the trauma, the emotional trauma that you're carrying. It's what causes us to hide who we really are. It's what causes us to be afraid to be ourselves and to open up and to allow for that vulnerability. You need that vulnerability to grow together. You need to be able to trust each other. You can't move or go anywhere without trusting each other. And I'm telling you, you got to trust each other, especially for business ventures. I know this is about love, but this is the energy that's coming in new relationships being afraid to expose who you really are because you don't want to get hurt because you've been hurt. We all have experienced it as part of the human condition. And also this inter- and this um, business, entrepreneurship energy, getting together, um, creating something together, nourishing it together, building it up, putting energy and focus and love there, you know, uh, bettering your life. Is that a word? We're going to say it today. Making your life better, making your situation better building something together. Also keep that paperwork in line as well, guys. Keep the paperwork in line. There's a lot there to be had together. You guys can put yourself in a comfortable, look how comfy that king is. He is comfy sitting on that throne. He's very secure and stable. He's actually a little cocky with it. Got his legs crossed. He's so assured. So let's now move into our Oracle deck. I know this is Joy Consults the Tarot, but we absolutely love to, you know, mix it up a little bit. We've got our romance, our level lovers oracle deck as well here. What else is going on for love this week? Love, love, love. We love love. Uh-huh. Okay. Loving it. Okay. So the weather is getting nicer. I, I mean, for my area, my neck of the woods, the weather's getting nicer. So all these cards actually resonate off of each other outdoors you know spending a lot of quality time together is awesome but can we get outside now can we get some fresh air can we get some nature can we reconnect can we sensitize is that a word yeah sensitize ourselves you know become more sensitive when you go outside when i go outside to do my work to do my readings grounding shielding any energy work everything's so much louder and so much stronger so much powerful so much more powerful when you go outside you strengthen your psychic connections your psychic awareness And the reason that we're on this is because a lot of us have a knowing sense. A lot of us are empathic. There's a lot of us that are clairvoyant. We have some clairs. We have a knowing. Um, A lot of us know before it happens, and a lot of us just are aware that it is happening. So within these new relationships where we're afraid to step up and be open and be uh, vulnerable and transparent and show ourselves, but there's an opportunity for us to grow together and to up-level financially to build something, a solid, stable foundation. You've got to speak your truth. You've got to speak up for yourself. You've got to express your feelings, your emotions, how you feel within any situation. And you have to have the ability to listen to your intuition. It's very important that you follow what you're feeling inside, follow those niggling sensations, follow those feelings and emotions and the guidance and the direction and the clarity. It's like tips, hints, and clues that our guides give us, you know, that we're surrounded by a whole team that came to help us. We can't remember, we can't see them, but it's like they're invisible going, hey, Joy, this way, this way. And that's what our guides do for us. It's our connection to them. It's the truth, our higher self. We're all connected. You know, we all come from the same source of creation. So listen and, and uh, allow yourself to believe and lean into those little niggling sensations, that guidance that comes in, especially within love. Love is the highest vibe. It can make you or break you, right? You ever had a heartbreak? Of course we have. It makes you feel like the world is ending. And when you are in a loving, healthy, you know, mutually it back and forth, you're mirroring each other. You're both giving love and trust and acceptance and it's pure and unconditional. That allows us to thrive. As people, we need love to thrive even if you feel like you don't, even if you pretend that you don't. Love is the highest vibe because it's God, Buddha, Allah, sources, Jesus, whatever resonates for you. That's the vibe. So it's the highest and we all come from it, which is why I say but love is the highest vibe. I absolutely love each and every one of you. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't be afraid to follow your inner knowing. Don't let anyone tell you that you're tripping or you're crazy. Maybe I'm a little crazy, but don't be afraid to follow that knowing. We are connected to something so great and so beautiful. Allow the love in. Don't get stuck on your past connections and be afraid that the same thing will happen again. Open up 
be yourself, make that money, make that love. Love is the highest vibe. Make sure you visit me on the psychic truth. Dot com. I am your reader, Joy8755. I'll be there, guys. Come and visit me. Love is the highest vibe. And get a meditation in.